Now, parents across the metro are hoping for answers to their back to school questions. KCTV 5 is your school authority, and tonight, KCTV 5's Abby Dodge is covering a meeting that could answer some of those questions at one of the metro's biggest school districts. So, Abby, what have you learned about the plans at Shawnee Mission Schools? Brad, the school board approved a purchase of better air filters for its buildings. There are, of course, still some moving parts. Shawnee Mission is working on finalizing logistics of staffing and school schedules. The surveys are back. Shawnee Mission now knows just under 8,000 of its students will be remote. Middle school and high school principals are now tasked with creating two master schedules, one for in person and another for a virtual school within a school. We want to take this slow. We want to do this right. And we don't want to overwhelm people right at first. This is going to be a lot. Bringing back fall activities is going to be slow too. And we're going to do everything we can to advocate for alternatives that allow them to pursue their interests. With some restrictions, Johnson County is currently in the yellow. So if the fall season started today, sports like football and wrestling couldn't compete because it's deemed high risk. Choir and band concerts would be out of the question too. It's like learning math without ever taking a test. The district is exploring live streaming an outdoor concert or doing a play over Zoom. <laughs> I think the key this year for all of us is uh, flexibility. The district announced tonight it will have child care and learning support for staff at a reasonable price when it's in a hybrid or remote learning format. All of us as staff members in education are deemed essential workers, and we are, and we're seeing how important educators are to society. And, but in order for us to get our work done, we need to provide our folks with some assistance. Before students, staff, and teachers leave their homes to drop off kids or go to work, everyone should take their temperatures and assess any symptoms before they leave for the day. The next board meeting is on August 24th, still well ahead of that September 8th start date, about two weeks before kids here in Shawnee Mission will head back to school. We will keep you updated on all the decision boards of education are making throughout the metro here at KCTV5. Live in Overland Park, Abby Dodge, KCTV5 News. Abby, thank you.